Are you ready for your first speaker? Representing Yorkshire. <laughs> Which I think has been overrepresented today on this stage already, but never mind. Um, is Craig Collinson with the talk, asking yourself better questions is the answer. Huge round of applause, please. <laughs> Whether you feel invincible or invisible, powerful or pitiful, up for the challenge or down for the count, will depend on the questions that you ask yourself. Questions have the incredible power to turn around a failing business, to help you achieve your goals, even to transform a relationship. Politicians appear to do their very best to avoid answering them. Children can never ask enough of them. Cultures, consultants, leaders, we all rely on them. A frustrated journalist asked Harold Wilson, Prime Minister, why do you always answer a question with a question? Wilson said, who told you that? <laughs> Colours travel through molecules in the Earth's atmosphere and because blue travels in shorter, smaller waves, it's more dominant than any other colour. And that's why the sky is blue. I don't know why the grass is green, ask your mother. Only one month before I was due to be married, my fiance and I had yet another argument. I asked, what do you want me to do? The answer to that question cost me my relationship, my home, and since I was working for her family's business, my job. I took a step back and moved in with my parents who were living in the Lincolnshire seaside town of Mablethorpe, or as I got to know it, the last resort. After the initial shock of my new situation had worn off, I signed on. And that's when the pity party really began. I'd be asking myself, why does everything go wrong for me? Why am I such an idiot? Or words to that effect. My relentless negativity impacted on my confidence and my motivation. My attitude was, what's the point in looking for work? I'm not going to get a job anyway. And guess what? I was proved right. A few gyros later, I was standing in a WH Smith's, transfixed by the cover of a book. I had £20 in my back pocket, coincidentally my total net worth at the time. Can I afford it? My head said, no! My gut said, yes. That book, The Power of Your Subconscious Mind by Dr Joseph Murphy, began to transform my life. I learned to ask better questions. Why does everything go wrong for me was replaced by why does everything go right for me? In days, my attitude became more positive. Within weeks, I'd found another job. Within months, I was in a new relationship. Within a year, I was married. My life was unrecognisable. The questions that we ask ourselves are far more powerful than just the words that we use. Uh, Peter was devastated and desperate for the successes that were eluding him. Uh, he, his business was failing and his marriage was in big trouble. If things didn't change and soon, uh, the business he'd spent the last 20 years in building wouldn't be the only thing that we lose. Um, and in our early sessions, I showed Peter how to ask himself better questions. I showed himself to ask, why does everything go right for me? And why do I love my business? And over the period of 12 months, the results were quite amazing. Uh, he transformed his business and Peter and his wife renewed their vows in the Caribbean. The questions that we ask ourselves are far more than just words. At the end of a two-day communication skills course, I asked the group, so are there any more questions? He raised his hand again. Head shook, eyes rolled, eye braced for impact. Yes, John. Here's one for you. Why did kamikaze pilots bother to wear crash helmets? <laughs> it had been a long two days. Yes, politicians will keep evading them. Yes, children will keep asking them. No, you don't ever again have to ask yourself a negative question. You have the choice. You have the power to completely transform your results. How? By asking better questions.
Thank you so much, Craig.